Okay, so here I am within our um, in my uh, Firefox browser, um, and I've just opened up my website, which is this, and this is what's come up. WordPress has come up, and this is the website that's now on your um, domain name. Now, obviously, it's nothing like what you're going to want it to look like, um, but it's a website, and it's just giving you a sample. Now, what this is is this is the WordPress um, sort of um, theme. Their um, their sort of Standard theme that they they give with with their um, with with their installation. So when you install it, this is what you get, and this is one of their standard themes. Now we can change this. You can actually use it if you want to use this. You can use this and leave it like it is if that's the way you want it to look. Um, but obviously, I, I can't see you wanting to do that. So what what I've got here is a free um, website, um, and it's a free download for lots of different types of themes, and you can choose here. A theme to install onto your um, onto your WordPress website. Um, now the the link is going to be below the video. Um, so if you click on that, you'll be able to, you'll be able to come through to this website. Um, I'm nothing to do this. This website's nothing to do with me. Um, just to warn you now, it's just a website I found. Um, seems really good, um, and I recommend it because I've used it and it seems pretty good so far. So you can kind of look through these themes now and choose a different type of theme. So if you just have a look at some of these, you click on demo and it will open up um, what it would look like and this is what the website would look like and uh, I think this is quite a good sort of layout obviously we can change a lot of the images and the content won't be won't be it's just given some demo content here so we'll be able to change the, the, the content but there's a couple of things I like about this and one thing is you've got the social media plugins here um, and buttons which which is really good because we're going to link your business to these because these are very social media marketing is one of the biggest things at the moment um, and it's going to help you build traffic to your website um, and it's going to help you gain sales so we're going to be keeping these so that's really good that it's got them so I like that about it I like the layout I like the fact that we can and um, we've got a nice um, right hand column here um, which we can do different things it's got a, a couple of widgets these are called widgets and we'll learn about them later but it's got things like um, you know the latest tweets that, that this company's put on there um, your recent posts is quite neat in the corner um, it's got an archive and um, it's linked to Facebook as well again social media marketing it's got an area there for ad um, ads which is really good because it's one of the other ways we're going to make money out of this website because um, this is what we're, we're here to do at the end of the day we're here to build a business an online business so um, an online website uh, for some of you, but we're here to build a build a business. Um, and so I think this is a pretty good theme. So I'm probably going to get that one. Um, I quite like the look of that for my um, lose weight one, which I'm doing. The lose uh, 30 pounds. I'm going to rebrand it a bit and obviously change a few things. So it's pretty handy. So I'm going to download that. So I'm going to click download. So, right now I've downloaded that to my desktop I am going to come out of here um, and now I'm going to go into my login of my WordPress website now to do that you need to go to your, your domain name here forward slash blog which is what we called it if you remember that folder that subfolder we had to call it when we were back in 123 reg in the previous video um, so you want to call it whatever that folder you, you called it but we, we called it blog um, and then forward slash and then then you need to write in WP for WordPress hyphen admin um, and it takes you to this screen here and then you put your username and if you remember the username we put in was admin I, I suggested perhaps putting your name in there or or whatever it was before that you've called yourself but that's what you've got to put in there now and remember that password that we, we put in so um, that's also got to go in here and then log in right I'm now into my what they call the dashboard and this is the area now where WordPress is and this is where we manage all our WordPress now we're going to go through all this one by one um, bit by bit later and I'm going to build this website up with you but for the time being first the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our theme installed which we just downloaded so we're going to make it so that it's a bit more prettier and a bit nicer so we're going to go into appearance here and then we're going to go into obviously we manage themes here so the current themes available to us um, are, the, are the WordPress themes um, and you can activate some of these if you wanted to. These are the themes that come with WordPress for free. We've currently got um, the current theme here installed, which they call 2011. Um, uh, there's also 2010 here, which is quite a nice theme. These are quite a nice theme, and you can customize these. Um, there's lots of um, ways of doing that, um, and um, there's lots of tutorials out there that show you how that's done. 
Um, however, to stay away from all that coding and to make things simple, I would just recommend downloading one for free or buying one. I mean, you can also buy WordPress themes and you can buy very, very nice themes for not a lot of money. Um, if you wanted to, to, to put something out there very special, um, that is then possible. Um, so I'm going to upload our themes. So I've just clicked on install themes. I'm going to click upload here. And I'm going to browse for that um, one which I put onto my desktop, which was that one. And I'm going to click open. And I'm going to click install. Put it in. Put it in as a zip file. It likes them. If you can see here, it says install it as a zip. So if you download it into a zip, that's ideal. Um, and then click install. Sometimes this takes a few minutes, and it's on packing it and, and so forth, and it's doing all that. Um, now it's done, it's, it's, it's saying it's um, theme installed successfully. So if we just go to um, return, return to the theme page for now, let's return back to the themes page. So I want to show you something back there um, of how this is all going to work and how easy it is to change. So here's all the things. Now you've got your new theme there, which we were looking at earlier, that is now in there. You can preview it first if you want to, but what we're going to do is we're just going to activate it. Now this just shows you how easy it is because it's now on that theme and you could have a whole load of content on here, a whole load of whole built website in that theme. You could build the website first if you wanted to on, on that theme and you, I'll show you how to do that later. So you can have that there but what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to activate this now and you can change it any time. That's the beauty of it. So we're going to activate this one because I'd like to see what this one looks like. So if you built your whole website and you thought, oh I don't really like the look, I think, think it could look slightly better. Um, then you could just change this and change it for another another thing. The only thing to note that might change is some of the layout of where the if you've got some widgets that it, the, some themes are comp compatible of holding or capable of holding a certain amount of um, uh, widgets and things like that so sometimes you need to choose the right theme for that but on the whole to be quite honest with you all your bits and pieces are going to stay and, and going to be there for forever so that's the, that's the beauty of it. Now here we are now into the um, theme options and so now you've now activated it it's giving you options so some some themes give you quite a few options and there's lots of different bits and pieces here that you can change which we will go into later like for example the logo now I'm going to take away um, this logo because I don't want this logo on here for the time being so I'm just going to remove that um, I'll put my own logo in later it's got an email there so I'll leave that for the time being I'm just going to go save I'm just going to save the changes um, now it's, it's changes are saved correctly. Now if I go back here, I'm going to need to click refresh. I'm going to go Control F5 on the PC on the Mac. I, th I think it's different, but you need to refresh it. Um, I'm not a Mac user, so I'm not entirely sure what you'll need to what you need to push. But you need to refresh your browser. So this is refreshing. Now this should come up with our new theme installed. Um, and it does. So here we go. This is the new theme. Now as I said before, we've got none of our none of our content or anything in here at the moment we still still put in some content from where we've installed thing we can change all this but this is it so this is our theme now um, and we now need to go in and edit all this theme so that's how you upload the theme um, and now we've done the very basics now we want to start putting in some content and I want to show you how to start um, making this into a website that looks a bit more like something that you were planning on having so um, I hope you enjoyed that and we will now start building the website.